In this presentation we are going to look at the Cook's distance. So what I'm going to do is first off fit a linear model and I'm going to use an inbuilt data set called MT cars. Okay. And I'm going to use the LM command LM to predict these uh, values. These are the this is the response variable MPG miles per gallon. And that response variable in my model is going to be explained by these predictor variables explained by cylinder and weight or number of cylinders and weight okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as an object called fit okay so we can have a quick look at fit here that brings up the coefficients so you can determine the regression equation now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the uh, diagnostic plots so uh, first off before I get into the Cook's distance thing I look at the diagnostics plots so what I would do there to create diagnostic plots is simply type the name of the fitted model that's it simple as that now just to make things a little bit easier to read I'm going to just uh, add in some graphical commands just to make it a little bit easier to read from the screen you don't have to do this uh, but it just it might make it easier to sort of re uh, read on see on the on a screen. So what I'm going to do now is just I've added in just a couple of extra parameters there, and I'm going to hit return. So blank screen comes up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually I just sort of bring this down into shot, and you see up at the top it says click or hit next to enter. So I'm just going to click on the screen there. Okay. Uh, now what has happened there is that this has brought up a one of the diagnostic plots okay and in particular what I'm looking at is essentially what has happened here is now what I'm particularly interested in is these influential points up here so up at the top corner there you, you might have Toyota Corolla and Fiat 128 and down here you would have Toyota Corona okay let's just click another one same again the Chrysler Imperial turns up in this one Fiat 128 Toyota Corolla uh, Chrysler Imperial Fiat 128 Toyota Corolla uh, this is the Cook's distance plot and we're just sort of seeing which points have the highest Cook's distance uh, this is what I'm particularly interested in but there's another plot that we can also look at which would actually uh, give the Cook's distances for each of these points so uh, the, the point of this uh, presentation in particular is this Cook's distance and this uh, graphic here it not not directly but indirectly sort of deals with the Cook's distance matter there so uh, what I'm, it suggests to me is that the Fiat 128, Toyota Corolla and Chrysler Imperial have high Cook's distances and that's it really so I'm just going to shut that one down I think that's the last one what I could also do is what I could also do is shut down the whole thing not shut down the whole thing is that there's a different plot you can get it doesn't come up automatically. There's actually six of these diagnostic plots, and I think it's number five. And what that does, no, that was it's number six actually. I think this is a nope, wrong one again. Three. Well, I'm gonna get them all. Let's see now. What's the chances? It's four. There we go. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit easier to read. What we have here is a uh, a graphic that indicates the Cook's distance for each of the 32 cases, and what has you might be able to tell here is that Chrysler, Fiat 128, and Toyota Corolla are the three points with the highest Cook's distance. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is this is a graphical. Uh, essentially, if I'm doing model diagnostics, what I might do now is just sort of think: What is it like? I might go back over my my research and find what was it? What is it particular in particular about these uh, cases that I would sort of be interested in? But anyway, I want to know the exact numbers now. Okay, so it's a simple enough idea. So Cooks, I'll just clear the screen here so we can all see it. So the name of the model again is Fit. Okay, and if the command is Cooks distance fit okay so this brings up the uh, fitted the, the Cook's distance for each of the um, each observation uh, in that data set okay uh, what I might be interested in doing is uh, first off do you sort of see the way it's 
uh, to wh whatever number of decimal places, to, to quite a few decimal places, okay? So what I might do first off is I'm going to run this again and call it, call it my CDs, my Cook's Distances, I'll save it, and I might round it to five decimal places, okay? Just make it a little bit easier to read, okay? So, um, Chrysler Imperial is here. Sorry, it's just in the first column here, the way I, on my output. Chrysler Imperial has a Cook's distance of 0 0.31894. Okay. Now, what I might be interested in doing is I might be interested in getting in, in, in a sort of uh, descending order. So, what I might also do is I might permanently update my Cook's distances just such that they are rounded to five decimal places. And what I might do is actually sort them. So my cooks, uh, my CDs. Okay, there we have them there. Now you might notice it's just gone a little bit out of shot that it is actually in reverse order. So the highest ones are at the, uh, uh, at, uh, at the end. Uh, just out of shot there is the Chrysler Imperial, but the Toyota Corolla, the Fiat One Two Eight, and the Toyota Corona are there, and they're all. For example, the, Cooks, the Toyota Corona has a Cooks distance is not point, uh, not nine one three five, and so on. Okay, and oops. So just as a sort of quick remark, I actually had a little typo there, and uh, let's just do that again. So there they are, to five decimal places. Okay little typo. Uh, so my CDs, okay, and suppose I want to reverse the order, what I could do there is actually just have them in descending order. You could just do something like reverse if needs be, so uh, Chrysler Imperial Toyota Corolla and uh, Fiat 128, so they do have them in descending order. Uh, there's another way of doing that, but it's it's a, it's related to how you, how you would work the sort command, but it's actually, I actually think the reverse one is just fine. Uh, if you're just doing it for pen and paper exercise, you just read from the bottom of the screen, that's all. Okay, that's how to compute Cook's distances, and just to finish off, the command is... Let's have a quick look at the help file for it. Cook's distance. And the help file should come up now in a second. So it's in, uh, you might sort of see this part of the influence measures component. It's a bit slow. There we go. Regression, dilution, diagnostics. So there's actually quite a lot of other dilution diagnostics there as well. DF fits, R student, DF betas, and so on. So the one I'm particularly interested in is Cook's distance. It's actually quite easy to follow. Okay. Uh, let's just sort of see, does it have any sort of unusual arguments or anything like that? Um, it does a few, but probably a bit uh, very high level for um, an undergraduate statistics course. Okay, we'll leave it there, so Cook's distance.